In this video, I'm going to show you how to download RTX shaders for Minecraft 1.21.9. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. Then all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and look up this website, mcpecentral.com. mcpecentral.com is a website where you're able to find all the latest and up-to-date RTX shaders that you guys could use on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. When you load into the website, you're going to be greeted by this sleek interface right over here. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the section that does say shaders. So yep, here it is, guys. And basically what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and look around and find some RTX shaders that you want to go ahead and install. Just keep in mind, make sure that it actually does say RTX in the title. For example, we do have a RTX shader over here. So let's go ahead and just install it right over here. But basically, you guys can look around this website and find some RTX shaders to download. There's also other things like texture packs, mods, realms, etc. But let's just go ahead and download this one over here, the vanilla RTX norms texture pack. So whenever you go ahead and select on a texture pack, it is typically going to give you a page where it is going to tell you a bunch of information about the RTX shader itself. And it's also going to provide some images that you guys can go ahead and take a look at. But all you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down until you see this download link over here. So towards the bottom, there's going to be like a download link. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on it just like so. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. Every single download link is slightly different. So some download links take you to Mediafire. Some of them take you to CurseWord. Other ones uh, make you go through through advertisements and then after you watch the advertisement then you get access to the download link and that is so that the rtx shader creator can get compensated for their work but for this video we're just going to be using curse forge so all you want to do from here is you want to go to the right and you want to select on the latest game version 1.21.8 then you want to go ahead and install the most up-to-date version over here press on these three buttons and then select on download file now depending on your web browser you may be able to see the downloads on the top right just like so but if you do not see it do not worry what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look under the downloads but all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on it just like so and then there you go it'll now say import started so now what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and open up your settings then you want to go to the left menu select over here where it says global resources select on my packs then you should be able to see the RTX shader that you did just install. So yep, here it is right over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just select on it, then press on activate. Then there you go. It'll now say active. Now what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and exit out of your settings. Then you need to go back into your settings. So it's a little bit weird, guys. So yeah, RTX shaders are honestly a little bit confusing in this new update for some reason, but do not worry. I'm going to explain the entire process, but yeah, you need to come back to settings. And this time you want to go ahead and select on video. Then you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down and make sure where it says allow in-game graphics mode switching is turned on. You need to make sure that this is turned on. Otherwise, RTX shaders are just not going to work. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and exit out of your settings. Then go ahead and press on play. And from here, go ahead and load into any Minecraft world. All right, guys. So here we are in our Minecraft world. So in order to actually turn on RTX, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on settings. Then you want to go to the left menu, select on video. Then you want to keep on scrolling down. And now you should see this graphics mode option over here. And you want to change it from fancy to ray trace. So as you're going to tell, you'll now have this option that does say ray trace. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that just like so. So go ahead and press on that. Then go ahead and exit out. And as you're able to tell, ray tracing is actually working. And you'll notice that it's kind of like glitched out. For example, our skin is black for some reason. And it's kind of like way too glossy. If this does happen to you, then make sure to go ahead and restart Minecraft. So just close out of Minecraft and then just open it one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, guys, here we are back in RTX. And as you're able to tell, it no longer looks like overly glossy or glitched out. And our skin is back to normal. But anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.